Okay. Hello. Today we are going to start the design calculation of tension member when it is connected with weld joint. So in last classes we have uh, gone through one workout example where the strength of the tension member has been calculated using uh, bolt connections. Now same thing we will be doing for uh, oil connections. In case of oil connection how the net effective area is going to change with respect to bolt connections, how the uh, shear lag distance is going to change those things will be um, will come across and we will see. Also we will see that block shear how to calculate, how to calculate that A T N, A T G, A V N, A P, A P G. So, um, those parameters will be calculated in today's lecture and we will see how what is the difference between bolt connection and oil connection with respect to uh, strength calculation of uh, tension member. So, we will go through this example that is um, an ISA 90 by 60 by 6 angle uh, of FE 410 grade steel is connected to a 10 mm thick gusset plate uh, by weld as shown in the figure below. Now, we need to calculate the design tensile strength of angle if gusset is connected to the longer leg and to shorter leg. So, both the cases we will see that if uh, the here we have considered this angle, uh, this is 60 and this is 90. So, with this angle once we will connect the oil connection by this, this angle, uh, this uh, leg and again if we connect with this leg then how the strength is going to vary that we will see means similar to the bolt connections right. So, one by one we will see how the load means strength of the member is going to change if the longer leg is connected and if the shorter leg is connected. So, here if you see that uh, weld length distribution has been given in this way, if longer length is connected this is this will be 90. So, if 90 mm longer length is connected then the weight length is 90 plus in this direction. Uh, let us assume 75 mm uh, distance has been given. So, what will be the tensile strength? And practically, uh, generally, the length of the um, bottom one will be more compared to length of the top one because uh, if CG distance goes like this, then uh, more load will be carried by this portion compared to this portion. Therefore, generally the um, weight length will be larger here and it will be lesser here, but in this case we have uh, assumed that uh, uh, distribution of length is same that is 75 and 75 just to have a calculation just to see the calculations that uh, what are the parameters going to vary and how to calculate this right. So, we will come to first case that if uh, longer length is connected that means, if the shorter length is this one 60 mm and this is 90. So, this length is going to be connected right. So, we have to find out the uh, properties of the um, angle section geometrical properties like the gross area of the angle A g we can find out for 90 by 60 by 60 this size of the angle section is 90 by 60 by 6. So, from I s handbook SP 61 1964 we can find out 
the uh, AG value as 865 millimeter square. This we can find out from SP6 and we have to calculate ANC and AGO. ANC means the net area of the connected leg. Net area of the connected leg will become 90 minus 6 by 2 into 6. Here you can observe with respect to bolt connection that as there is no bolt hole, so net area is just this one, just uh, area of the connected leg that is 90 minus 6 by 2 into 6 which will be 522. So, we are not reducing any area right. Similarly, the outstanding area gross area of the outstanding length that will become outstanding length was 60. So, 60 minus 6 by 2 into 6. So, this is becoming 342 millimeter square. So, this will be required for strength calculation. So, uh, this property we have to remember that is AGO is 342, ANC is 522 and AG is 865. Now, we will come to strength calculation. First is tensile strength governed by yielding. So, tensile strength governed by yielding that we can find out as TDG. TDG we know that will be FY by AG by gamma M0. So, that I can find out that is 865 by 250. Uh, sorry, TDG. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I am just uh, giving wrong equation. The TDG is equal to FY into AG by gamma. Uh, FY by gamma M zero. This will be the equation, right? So, FY AG by gamma M zero. FY is two fifty, and AG is eight hundred sixty-five, and gamma M zero is one point one. And to make it kilo newton, we can multiply with 10 to the minus 3, then we can find out uh, TDG value as 196.6 kilo newton, right. So, the tensile strength governed by yielding of grass section is coming 196.6 kilo newton. So, this is 1, and next we will calculate the tensile strength governed by rupture of net section. Okay. So, second case we will try to find out the uh, net tensile strength governed by the rupture of net section that is TDN. So, for finding out TDN we need to know that uh, because TDN we know the value will be 0.9 FU ANC by gamma M1 plus beta into FY AGO by gamma M0. Now, we need we know all the parameters like FU ANC gamma M1 FY AG gamma M0 we know except this parameter beta right. To find out beta we have to know what is the shear lag width shear lag distance uh, uh, sorry B s we used to call B s shear lag width that shear lag width will be here 60 mm. Because if you refer to the code you will see uh, here uh, it is connected like this it is connected here and it is connected here. So, the outstanding length is this one that is W and that will be the shear lag distance because this portion is connected right. So, there is a difference between um, calculation of shear lag distance uh, of um, member using bolt and member using weld right. So, here B s will be the outstanding leg distance that is uh, 60 mm right because here W is equal to 60. And also we have to find out the average length of weld. Length of weld that is 
uh, L C average length of weld. Now, it is connected if you see in the question that it was connected like this means it was connected 75 millimeter length of this this portion and 75 millimeter of this portion. So, average length will be 75 plus 75 by 2 that means 75 mm. So, here average length we can uh, use as 75 mm. So, I can find out beta the factor beta uh, will be 1.4 minus 0 0.076 into B s by L c W by T and F y by F u. So, from this we can calculate we know all the um, values of the variables like 0 0.76 into B s we know that is 60 and L c we have calculated as 75 uh, outstanding length length was 60 and thickness was uh, 6 mm and yield stress we can consider 250 and ultimate stress we can consider 410. So, if we put this value we can find out the value of beta as 1.029 right. So, beta value is coming 1.029 again this beta value has to be less than or equal to F y uh, sorry F u gamma m 0 by F y gamma m 1. So, this value if we calculate that will be 410 into 1 1.1 by 250 into 1.25 this is coming 1.443. So, beta value is should be less than 1.443 and also beta should be greater than or equal to 0.7. So, this is uh, uh, fulfilling the criteria of this lower limit of 0.7 and upper limit of this. So, we can consider beta as the calculate value what we obtained earlier that is 1.029 right. Now, I can find out the strength T d n right due to rupture of critical section T d n. So, that I can put the value that will be 0 0.9 into F u is 410 into A n C 522 we found by 1.25 is gamma m 1 plus beta we have calculated as 1.029 into F y into A g o that we calculated as 342 by gamma m 0 that is 1.1. So, this is becoming 234 into 10 cube Newton or 234 kilo Newton. So, T d n value is becoming 234 kilo Newton right. Now, uh, now, alternatively also we can calculate the uh, T d n value uh, in an approximate way that is T d n is equal to uh, alpha into a n f u by gamma m 1 that we can calculate. Uh, now, alpha is 0 0.8 because for oil connection this alpha value as per codal provisions is 0 0.8 into uh, a n a n value will be a n we can calculate that is a n c plus a g o that means a n c was uh, we have uh, found earlier 522 and a g o was 342. So, that is 864. So, a n the net area of the angle section we can use as 864 and if you we know 410 by gamma m 1 1.25. Remember this alpha value, alpha value for bold connection it varies, it varies as 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.7 according to the number of bolt. 
but in case of well connection we straight take alpha as 0 0.8 unlike in case of bolt. So, these are given in the uh, IS 800 2007 uh, in the clause. So, we have to keep in mind that in case of oil connection we should consider alpha value as 0 0.8. So, if we put this value uh, we can find out this value as 200 uh, 226.71 kilo newton 226.71 kilo newton right so uh, actual value we got uh, 234 kilo newton also we can find out approximately as 226 is more or less closer now we'll try to find out the uh, third cases that is uh, tensile strength governed by block shear. For block shear, how tensile strength is going to govern that we will try to find out in this case, right. So, in this case, we have to calculate the area uh, of uh, gross area due to shear AVG that will become 2 into 75 into 10 because gusset plate thickness is this is gusset plate thickness that is 10 mm right gusset plate thickness is 10 mm and also the weld length was 75 in two side 75 into 2. So, AVG will be 2 into 75 into 10 this area is along the uh, force right the tensile force the axial tensile force working uh, in the in a direction in which the AVG value has to be taken. So, that is becoming 1500 millimeter square. Similarly, AVN AVN is the net area of the shear um, uh, shear due to shear that will also become 2 into 75 into 10. So, this is also 1500 millimeter square. Here uh, you notice that uh, AVN value and AVG value are same because in case of bolt connection the AVG value and AVN value were different because of the presence of hole. Uh, so, net area and gross area will be different, but in case of oil connection net area and gross area will be same therefore, uh, it will be uh, unlike bolt connection design right. And we will see that uh, for the same angle section uh, we can find out that the strength will be more in case of oil joint with respect to bolt joint. So, similarly I can find out ATG that is the gross area due to tension. So, that will be 90 into 10 because if you remember the oil distribution was like this. So, uh, this is the tensile force acting. So, uh, the area perpendicular to the uh, direction of the force that is 90 into 10. So, it will be 900 millimeter square and similarly ATN also will be same as calculated as ATG that will be 900 millimeter square. So, ATG value and ATN value we can calculate. Now, we find out the TDB value. So, TDB 1 or TDB 2 we have to find out and the list of these two will be the value of uh, tensile strength due to block shear. So, TDB 1 sorry TDB 1 will become you know AVG FY by root 3 gamma m 0 plus 0 0.9 FU ATN by gamma m 1. So, if I put this value I can find out as 1500 into 250 
by root 3 into 1.1 plus 0 0.9 into 410, ATN value was 900 and gamma m 1 you know as 1.25. So, if we calculate we can find out this as 462.5 kilo Newton right 462.5 kilo Newton. Similarly, I will find out T d B 2, T d B 2 will be uh, point 0.9 a v 1 a v n a few by root 3 gamma m 1 plus a f y a t g by gamma m 0. So, if I put this value I can get the value of T d b 2 here a few value is 410 root 3 into gamma m 1 is 1.25 plus f y is 250 a t g we calculated earlier 900 by 1.1. So, this will become 460.2 kilo Newton and we know T d b value will be the list of T d b 1 and T d b 2. So, list of T d b 1 and T d b 2 is becoming 460.2 kilo Newton. Right. Now, the value of design tensile strength will be list of T d g due to gross yielding, T d n due to rupture of net section and T d b due to block shear. So, if we see these three value, we can find out that this is coming list value is coming 196.5. 6 kilo Newton and this is coming due to gross yielding right. So, the design strength of uh, the oil connection will be 196.6 kilo Newton right when the longer length is connected by the weld. Now, we will see the same thing in case of shorter length connection means if shorter length is connected. So, second case that shorter leg is connected right. If the shorter leg is connected, so here I can find out A and C value as in this case the outstanding leg will be the longer leg right. Say for example, this is 90 and this is 60. So, this leg is connected, connected here, here and this leg is connected right. So, uh, A and C the net area I can find out 60 minus 6 by 2 into 6 this will be 342 millimeter square. Similarly, the gross area of the outstanding lead A G O I can find out 90 minus 6 by 2 this will be into 6 this will be 522 millimeter square right. So, now here I can find out T D G value T D G value will be F Y into A G by gamma m 0. So, if I put this value that will be 865 by 1.1 1 .1 into 10 to the minus 3. So, 196.6 kilo Newton. So, if we remember here uh, the earlier calculation that the T d g value of the angle section when its longer length is, length is connected the T d g value was same. Right. So, irrespective of the connected leg, the gross yielding means strength due to gross yielding of the section will be same that is 196.6, but uh, the uh, strength due to rupture of the net section or strength due to block shear failure that will be different. In fact, in case of uh, strength due to rupture, the shear lag 
will be different shear lag effect will be there. So, we will see here it will be reduced the strength is going to be reduced because longer leg is uh, uh, the outstanding leg. Uh, so, the shear leg effect is will be quite more compared to the earlier case. Therefore, we have to means uh, the re reduction of strength will be there. So, we have to uh, see in that way right. So, now let us come to the second one that is for calculation of T d n. Okay, T d n. Now, for T d n now here we can see that B s will be simply um, B s means the shear lag width that will be simply 90 mm and W that is outstanding leg that will be also 90 mm right. So, L c here L c also same that is 75 plus 75 by 2 that is 75. Now, let us see the reduction factor beta. Here beta will be 1.4 minus 0 0.076 into B s by L c. B s means the shear lag width that is 90 by L c is 75 and W by T that is also 90 by 6 and F y by F u 250 by 410 that is coming 0 0.566 and this beta value has to be less than or equal to f u gamma m 0 by f y gamma m 1 and it has to be greater than or equal to 0 0.7 right. And this value earlier we have calculated that is 1.443. So, what we could see beta value at least it has to be 0.77 and we have calculated as 0.566. And if you remember earlier this beta value was quite high right. So, in case of the member if it is connected with its longer uh, with its shorter length then because of its outstanding length as longer one the shear lag effect will be more. And because of the shear lag effect we could see here beta be become 0 0.566 and as we have to take at least 0 0.7. So, we are going to take 0 0.7. So, T d n value we could see if we put this value that 0 0.9 into f u f u means 410 into 342 that is a n c by gamma m 1 is 1.25 plus beta is 0 0.7 we are considering f y into A g o is 522 by gamma injury is 1.1. So, here we are considering 184 kilo Newton. Now, you could see if you compare with the earlier case here you can see that T d n value is going to be much less compared to the earlier one right. Therefore, we have to keep in mind that which leg we should try to connect right. Uh, as I told earlier also that we have to try to connect the longer length with its gas means uh, uh, longer length we should connect with the gasset plate or other members to get the maximum efficiency of the member right. And automatically here we could see that because of the connection of its shorter length the shear leg effect is predominant and because of shear leg effect uh, we could see the reduction of the strength is uh, 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 quite high and the uh, net rupture strength uh, is becoming quite less compared to uh, the connection when its longer length is connected right. Now, strength due to block shear. For block shear, we will try to find out the strength. Here, uh, we could see that A V G will become 2 into 75 into 10 that is same as earlier A V n is equal to also 2 into 75 into 10 that is also same only A T G will be 
different earlier it was 16 to 10 19 to 10 here it is 16 to 10 600 and atn also will be 16 to 10 that is 600 that means uh, avg and avn are becoming same with respect to earlier one but atg and atn is going to reduce because uh, in this case the shorter leg is connected so its uh, length is 60 therefore the weight length perpendicular to the um, direction of the load is coming 60 so uh, atg value will be 16 to 10 and d value will be 16 to 10 so i can find out tdb1 so tdb1 is equal to avg avg means 1500 avg fy by root 3 gamma m0 plus 0.9 fu into atn atn is 600 by 1.25 that is becoming 373.9 kilonewton right so 373.9 kilonewton we are getting and this is obviously less than the earlier one a slight reduction is there because of this connection of the shorter length so now again tdb2 tdb2 i can find out as 0 0.9 avn 0 0.9 avn was 1500 into a few by root 3 gamma m1 is 1.25 plus fy 250 into 600 by 1.1 so this is becoming 392 kilonewton so tdb will be the list of this two that is tdb1 and tdb2 so from this i can see that 373.9 kilonewton is the block shear strength so now we can find out the design tensile strength td and this will be list of this three load that is 196.36 that is tdn then sorry tdg then 184 which has come from tdn and 373.9 that is tdb right so list of these three that means 184 kilonewton that means here the critical strength is governing due to rupture of the net section in earlier case we have seen critical strength was governed due to yielding of the gross section this is what generally happens but in this case we could see that the critical strength are coming due to rupture of the net section that is 184 kilonewton right and we could see that this critical strength is less uh, uh, in this case means when shorter length is connected with the gusset plate with respect to the earlier one where longer leg is was connected to the gusset plate so in this example means through this workout example we could see that efficiency of the same angle can be increased if the connection is done properly connection can be done properly in uh, in a sense that when the longer leg of the angle section is connected with the gusset plate then we could increase the efficiency of the se section also from earlier lecture means if we compare with the earlier calculation where bolt joint was there if we see that weld uh, connections is taking little higher load than the bolt connection so from these two examples means uh, examples from the bolt connection and examples from the weld connection and the 
connecting leg we connection with longer leg connection with shorter leg. So, for this four permutation combination we could see the best option is uh, connection should be done with longer leg and if possible with the well connection in that case maximum efficiency can be obtained. Okay, with this I would like to conclude today's lecture. Thank you.